Ananda. Hope you are all doing well. Do you remember our last conversation about war and peace? We talked about how India had to struggle for its independence from the British for many centuries. Post independence our country has had to fight several wars to protect its borders, territorial integrity and its people. This made me wonder who were these brave Indian people? They fought to protect our country and sacrificed their lives so that we could lead our lives in peace. What were their names? Where did they come from? Does anyone remember anything about them? Last week I got the answers to some of my questions. During an educational trip to New Delhi organized by our school. You may recall, I was looking forward to this trip and our visit. To many places of historical and educational significance. I learned several new and interesting things and I am excited to share them with you. Let me begin by asking you to guess the name of the monument that I found most inspiring. Let's see if you can guess. The construction of this monument started in April 2018 and was completed in February 2019. It was envisioned and then inaugurated by India's Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in February 2019. In terms of location and size, it is spread over 40 acres of land near the iconic India Gate. But more importantly, it is a tribute to some of the bravest Indians. I'm sure you've guessed. It's the National War Memorial. Won't you say, a long-desired aspiration was fulfilled? Our visit to the National War Memorial began with our teacher explaining that even after independence, India has had to fight many wars to protect itself and the freedom and security we enjoy today. It's because of the many brave men and women who have served in the Indian Armed Forces over decades. Sadly, she said, war always takes its toll. And therefore, many brave soldiers have had to sacrifice their lives for the country. Even after our independence in 1947. This is what makes monuments like the National War Memorial extremely important. So that we should never forget the cost of freedom. We are aware, always, of the pain and horrors of war. We learned that each brick of the memorial is called a tablet. And it bears the names of soldiers who fought for India and made the supreme sacrifice. In different wars from 1947 till date. Including the Indochina conflict of 1962. The Indo-Pak wars in 1965 and. 1971 and the Kargil war in 1999. There are 29,000 tablets. On which more than 26,000 names of fallen soldiers have been etched. It was heartening to know that our government has recognized the sacrifice of brave soldiers. Our teacher told us about the 21 brave hearts. Who were awarded the Param Veer Chakra, India's highest wartime gallantry medal, for their service to the nation. She also told us about Mahavir Chakra. Kirti Chakra. Veer Chakra and Shorya Chakra. Major Somnath Sharma Ward posthumously awarded India's first Param Veer Chakra in the Battle of Badgam in 1947. Later some more Param Veer Chakra were awarded for exceptional gallantry. During the India-China conflict of 1962 and the India-Pakistan War of 1965. Besides, a Param Veer Chakra was also awarded for service during the UN peacekeeping operations in Congo. In the 1971 war, some of the heroes who were awarded the Param Veer Chakra posthumously includes Lance Naik Albert Eka, Flying Officer Nirmal Jeet Singh Sekhon, Second Lieutenant Arun Khetarpal, and Major Hosha Singh. Some Navy personnel including Captain Mahindra Nath Mulla were also awarded Mahavir Chakra for their exemplary courage and leadership. Then the teacher shared with us the citation of Param Veer Chakra awardee Lance Naik Albert Ekka. It touched my heart and also motivated me. We were awestruck and humbled by his bravery. I aspire to be courageous like him when I joined the army. 
citation. Lance Nike Albert Aka. Number 4239746, 14 guns. Lance Nike Albert Aka was in the left forward company of a battalion of the Brigade of Guns. During their attack on the enemy defense at Gangasagar on the Eastern Front. This was a well-fortified position held in strength by the enemy. The assaulting troops were subjected to intense shelling and heavy small arms fire. But they charged onto the objective and were locked in bitter hand-to-hand -hand combat. Lance Nike Albert Aka noticed an enemy light machine gun, inflicting heavy casualties on his company. With complete disregard to his personal safety, he charged the enemy bunker, bayoneted to enemy soldiers and silenced the light machine gun. Though seriously wounded in this encounter, he continued to fight alongside his comrades through the My Deep objective, clearing bunker after bunker with undaunted courage. Towards the northern end of the objective, one enemy medium machine gun opened up from the second story of a well-fortified building, inflicting heavy casualties and holding up the attack. Once again, this gallant soldier without worrying about his personal safety, despite his serious injury and the heavy volume of enemy fire, crawled forward till he reached the building and lobbed a grenade through the loophole of the bunker, killing one enemy and injuring the other. The medium machine gun, however, continued to fire. With outstanding courage and grim determination, Lance Nike Albert Aka scaled a side wall and entering the bunker. Benetted the enemy who was still firing and thus silenced the machine gun. Saving further casualties to his company and ensured the success of the attack. In this process, however, he received serious injuries and succumbed to them after the capture of the objective. In this action, Lance Nike Albert Aka displayed the most conspicuous valor, determination and made the supreme sacrifice in the best traditions of the army. As we continued our visit around the National War Memorial, we came across another important installation called Amar Jawan Jyoti that commemorates our soldiers. The name, as you may have guessed, represents an immortal flame that is kept ablaze all through the day and night to reveal the sacrifices of our soldiers. Earlier, the Amar Jawan Jyoti, which also displayed a rifle and a helmet, was alighted under the Arch of India Gate in January 1972 to commemorate India's victory in the India-Pakistan War of 1971. The National War Memorial now includes Amar Jawan Jyoti in the obelisk, which is surrounded by four chakras. During the inauguration, the Prime Minister lit a new flame to commemorate the fallen heroes. Later, the old flame at India Gate was also merged with the new flame at the National War Memorial. Here is a picture of the new Amar Jawan Jyoti if you haven't seen it. You can see the obelisk surrounded by reds that have been placed as a mark of respect. The lighting design is planned in such a way that it transforms the monument's landscape as sunlight changes from dawn to dusk. It truly is a majestic sight that filled me with pride for our nation. I was also overwhelmed by the interminable flame as a metaphor for eternal stories of courage and valor. Our teacher also explained the significance of the chakras to us. I found it interesting and hence sharing with you. The National War Memorial consists of four concentric circles which are known as Amar Chakra, Virta Chakra, Kyak Chakra and Raksha Chakra. Around a 15 meter tall central obelisk with the eternal flame, the Amar Jawan Jyoti. It also houses bronze and stone murals and graphic panels. The innermost circle represents the Amar Chakra, also known as the Circle of Immortality. This has the obelisk with eternal flame. The Amar Jawan Jyoti flame symbolizes the immortality of the spirit of fallen soldiers with the assurance that the nation will never forget their sacrifice. The second circle is called the Virta Chakra, which is also known as the Circle of Bravery. There is a covered gallery that exhibits six murals crafted in bronze depicting valiant battle actions of our armed forces. The third circle represents the Tyak Chakra, 
also known as the circle of sacrifice. The circular concentric walls of honor symbolize the ancient war formation which is called Chakravyu. The walls are covered with granite tablets, an individual tablet is solely dedicated to each fallen hero of post-independent India. Their names are etched in golden letters. The outermost circle represents the Raksha Chakra, which is also known as the Circle of Protection. In this chakra the row of trees is a reassurance to the citizens of the country about their safety against any threat. Each tree represents the soldiers who ensure the territorial integrity of the nation. We spent the whole day, from morning to evening, at the National War Memorial and the surrounding areas marked by majestic lawns and grand buildings of Kartavyapath. We were immersed in the ambience that was solemn and a reminder of what a free nation could achieve. The overall environment created an emotive experience that was visually inspiring. I felt as if I had developed a bond with the place. I learned a lot, but I also have to admit that the various discourses on the day brought tears to my eyes. It was sad to think about the massive devastation and loss of life caused by wars. It motivated me to live a life worthy of the sacrifices of our heroes. After our visit, the class decided to make presentations on stories of valor of the brave hearts we came across at the National War Memorial. We divided ourselves into five groups. We are choosing martyrs to make presentations depicting their courageous stories. Our teacher has also advised us to share our experience during the school assembly. I am delighted that all the students of our school will get to know about the National War Memorial and the soldiers it commemorates. I am going to give a presentation on the story of Major Padmapani Acharya, who fought for India in the 1999 Kargil War and was awarded the Mahavir Chakra. The citation for the Mahavir Chakra reads as follows. Gazette Notification, 17 Press 2000, 15th August 1999. Operation, O.P. Vijay Kargil Date of Award, 15th August 1999 Citation Major Padmapani Acharya, Act 55072 Two Rajputana Rifles Posthumous On 28th June 1999 Major Padmapani Acharya as a company commander was assigned the formidable task of capturing an enemy position which was heavily fortified, strongly held and covered with mines and sweeping machine gun and artillery fire. Success of the battalion and brigade operation hinged on the early capture of this position. However, the company attack almost faltered at the very beginning. When the enemy's artillery fire came down squarely on the leading platoon, inflicting large number of casualties, with utter disregard to his personal safety, Major Padmapani Acharya took the reserve platoon of his company and led it through raining artillery shells. Even as his men were falling to the murderous enemy fire, he continued to encourage his men and charged at the enemy up the steep rock face with his reserve platoon. Unmindful of the hail of bullets from the enemy's position, Major Padmapani Acharya crawled up to the enemy position and lobbed mag grenades. In this daring assault, Major Acharya was severely injured. Despite being seriously injured and unable to move, he ordered his men to leave him and charge at the enemy while he continued to fire at the enemy. The enemy position was finally overrun and the objective was captured. After completion of the mission, the officer however, succumbed to his injuries. Major Padmapani Acharya displayed exceptional courage leadership and spirit of self-sacrifice in the face of the enemy. Before he went into battle, he wrote a letter to his father that he wasn't afraid or scared about losing his life while trying to protect the motherland. Quoting Srimad Bhagavad Gita he went on to say 12.37 Hato va prapsyasi swargam jitva va bhokshya se mahin Tasmadu tishta konte yudhaya kritanishaya if you fight, you will either be slain on the battlefield and go to the celestial abodes. Or you will gain victory and enjoy the kingdom on earth. 
Therefore arise with determination. O son of Kunti, and be prepared to fight. We reached Bangalore yesterday. I have written a long letter as I could not help sharing this in spring experience with you. Give my regards to your mom and dad. I miss your mom's chole bhature. You know I am a foodie. Say hello to Amit. Your friend. Soumya. Chandigarh. Date 24 April 2022. Dear Soumya, It was such a pleasure to receive your letter. I enjoyed reading your experience of the visit to the National War Memorial in Delhi as well as your observations and feelings during the visit. You really have an eye for detail and being the sensitive person that you are, you have been able to capture the essence of the emotions associated with this memorial. I was happy to hear that you got an opportunity to visit the National War Memorial. I have heard a lot about it. Some people might see a war memorial as just a monument, statue, an edifice to celebrate a war or victory and commemorate those who were martyred or injured in war. In my view, it is also an expression of deep gratitude for the supreme sacrifice made by our brave soldiers defending the sovereignty and integrity of the country. I feel motivated and I am seriously thinking of joining the armed forces for serving my motherland. I also feel it is our duty to periodically visit such places to honor our valiant soldiers who have made great sacrifices for us. Their sacrifices enable us to walk freely in our country without fear of enemy threats. It is nice of your teacher and school to arrange this visit to give you all a chance to learn about India's heroes and also pay your respect to them. The idea of your class to make a presentation at the school and making every one a part of your experience is wonderful. Best of luck for your presentation. I hope it goes well and motivates the school students to join the Indian Armed Forces. Your letter has reminded me of a time when we visited the war memorial in our city. If I remember correctly, the day was National Martyrs Day. While visiting one of Chandigarh's gardens we saw a lot of activity around the Bougainvillea garden in sector 3. As we approached the garden we saw people offering flowers and prayers. We joined the group out of curiosity and quickly realized that they were all there to pay respect to the soldiers at the war memorial. When I think back about my visit where everyone was dedicating flowers as a mark of respect to our soldiers I was reminded of the following poem Push ki abhilasha Cha nahi main sur bala ke gehano mein goontha jao cha nahi premi mala mein bind pyari ko lal chaau cha nahi samrato ke shavpa ki hari dala jao cha nahi devo ke sar par chadun bhagya par itron mujhe tod lena banmali as paat mein tum dena fank मात्रा भूमि पर शीश चढ़ने जिस पात जाए वीर अनेक आई होप यू लाइक द पोएम आई मस्ट से आई वॉज इंस्पायर्ड बाय योर आइडिया ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग द वैलरस स्टोरीज ऑफ इंडिया सोल्जर्स देर आर सो मेनी स्टोरीज ऑफ करेज ब्रेवरी एंड सैक्रिफाइस विच रिमाइंड अस दैट मेनी ऑफ द चैलेंजेस वी फेस इन आर लाइफ आर इनकन्सिक्वेंशियल We can enjoy peace in our country and the luxury of exchanging ideas with our friends because our armed forces are alert and work hard to create that environment for us. Very recently I read in the newspaper that Captain Anuj Nayar MVC an Indian army officer of the 17 Jat regiment was posthumously awarded the Mahavir Chakra India's second highest gallantry award for exemplary valor during the Kargil war in 1999 i look forward to learning more about him meanwhile i learned that his mother meena nayar has written a memoir titled tiger of dras cap anuj nayar 23 kargil hero which i shall certainly go through i am sharing with you an excerpt of her interview with ins dot 
writing about the smallest things about your child who is not with you really used to shake me but gradually i came to terms with it by telling myself that if i didn't write about him no one in the world would or could and no one will know about anuj's sacrifice published on 13 april 2022 159 pm it is truly said our flag does not fly because the wing moves it it flies with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it i have shared your experience with many of my friends we all wish to visit the national war memorial delhi we have found out a mobile app national war memorial and museum this app is very interactive and provides answers to our queries in 21 languages the murals on the walls are enchanting a great learning experience indeed next week i am going to share this idea with my classmates and my teacher i think it would be great to create a collage capturing the lives and stories of people that can inspire us each day i know that we can email each other i really like to receive letters from you not just because of the ideas that you share but also because the envelope of your letters often comes with beautiful stamps that make me happy i don't know if i ever shared it before but collecting stamps is one of my favorite hobbies i've been doing it for years but i learned recently that the act of collecting stamps is called philately this time i received a stamp that celebrates india's independence a theme related to your letter okay that's all from me for now but before i conclude guess what we had for breakfast fluffy idlis and we all remembered you give my regards to your parents i am inspired by your letter hope to hear from you soon about your new adventures and experiences best wishes ananda